Hello, welcome to the Metrics Lab. Lab Dave here. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, flow cytometry today uh, and uh, how the OptiGauge 2 might uh, help in that process. So uh, on the uh, bench here and underneath the uh, OG2 probe, we have a slide. The slide has a central channel. Uh, that's kind of a very thin white line. Uh, and then it has two Y junctions that spread out uh, on both the input end and the output end. Uh, and that is uh, where liquid is injected and mixed in the channel or uh, is flowed through uh, the channel. And uh, what we're looking at right now on the screen is uh, the channel groove thickness. So that channel groove thickness uh, is dependent upon the index of refraction of the fluid that's flowing through it. So if that fluid gets a higher index of refraction, the OPD, the optical thickness, will go up. Uh, and you can uh, record that in the uh, process of uh, doing your uh, mixture or as the uh, fluid flows by. You can monitor how that index of refraction changes uh, relative to the mixture of the fluid flowing through the tube. Uh, what I've done is I've created a large channel, much larger than a typical flow cytometry channel would be, but uh, something that I can videotape and show you the fluid flowing past. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is put a uh, mystery fluid into the uh, channel let that one go by. Uh, we'll look at the numbers change. Uh, then we'll put in some regular uh, DI water and let that flow by and see how the numbers change for that. So we're starting with air. So the channel has air in it and the uh, optical thickness is 366. Put in the first uh, fluid. Single drop in there. Oh, I, I moved it. Oh, I got it back in place. Got it back in place before the drop flowed past, and it's flowing past, and it's flowing up. There it is, 496. And then it's by, back to 360. Uh, so there you have it. That's how a flow cytometer works. You see the uh, OPD change as the fluid goes by. Uh, and now let's go ahead and uh, remember that 496. And let's put regular water in. Let's see what that gives us. And hopefully this time I do not touch this one. Okay, oh, here it comes. Did it make it? Did it get it? It, yes, it did. Okay, so it went from the 360 to the 485. So water is 485. The mystery fluid was 496. Uh, so what was the mystery fluid? It's got a higher index. Uh, that's a good hint. Uh, all right, it's isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so you can see, uh, if you look at isopropyl alcohol in water, they look like clear liquids. But the OptiGauge has no problem telling the difference between the two by looking at the actual OPD of the two solutions in the same channel. That's basically how flow cytometry works. Uh, you, you see an index of refraction change by an OPD change, uh, and that OP, OPD change is uh, different for any particular fluid that goes through the channel. Uh, all right, quick demo of uh, how flow cytometry actually works with the fluid flowing past. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next video.